Hello everyone, JRDL96 here with a brand new episode of Black Ops 2. Now in the last video, you kind of saw some real good rage. Something that I, ha I haven't had in a long time. Rage that intense over gun game. I don't know, it seems like my, my weakest link when it comes to a gun game is always that fucking knife at the end. Also, the sniper rifles. And maybe the crossbow, too. But look, I've had my fair share of, like, winning gun game over the over the last... in in these videos. Like, I think I remember the one time I won for the first time and I didn't get the final kill cam. Somebody else did. It was like a big deny. Like, it was just like, fuck, man. But, Jesus Christ. It seems like that the game just said, no... We're going to give this person a chance. We're going to let him win instead. But if you want to talk about great memories on here on, in this series, in the last year, probably some of the mods that I've encountered, no, even noting a particular mod that involves a unlock all achievements, and I ended up getting 28 achievements. <laughs> that day and I'm like what the fuck and then I had to go back in the theater mode to find out what the hell happened and I still have some of the matches in like saved in my uh I guess my little for my for the game I have it saved so I will always go back to show some of my some of my friends what the hell happened but anyways yeah, my imaginary friends. I have no friends. I'm always alone, by myself, at w on my own, playing my game, playing games, talking to myself, and how great I am. I'm gonna do a team death match. We need to calm down from fucking. <laughs> we need to calm down from gun game for a little bit because Jesus Christ. Um, speaking of Black Ops, uh, I did hear about, um, apparently, uh, what's going on with Black Ops 4. Now, apparently, if you have been living under a rock, apparently, Black Ops 4 will not have a single-player campaign. They're gonna focus more on the multiplayer and zombies. And apparently they're trying to come up with this battle royale system as well. And I'm just like, what the, f why, why the fuck are we trying to do? It's like removing the greatest feature of the iPhone, the headphone jack. Because it took courage. No, it did not. Three, two... One, let's go. Remember, speed, and aggression, gentlemen. speed and aggression, gentlemen. So apparently Black Ops 4 will not have a single player campaign and they will focus more on the multiplayer and zombies. Now look, has the multiplayer in zombies and Black Ops in the Black Ops games been good? Yeah, even the zombie, some of the zombie maps have been great over the years, especially Black Ops 2. Black Ops 3, I barely played uh, the zombie matches, zombie maps, and some the multiplayer is kind of fun, but it's just so weird, especially with the damn, that damn fucking jet, slot, jetpack sliding bullshit. Like, I swear, there have been moments where I swear to God shot somebody in the fucking head, and it, the game just said, nope, you're not getting this kill. He he's gonna kill you instead, especially when I just slide into his DMs and shoot him right in the nuts. But seriously, Black Ops Four, it's gonna be weird with no campaign. It's gonna be really weird without a campaign. Because over the years, some of the Call of Duty games have been 
like some of the campaigns over the years for Call of Duty have been really really good especially with like the first Modern Warfare uh, even there have been like I guess big moments in there especially with um, Black Ops 1 with the uh, Russian roulette scene uh, even in Modern Warfare 2 with the airports stuff where you mow down innocent civilians in an airport which is really controversial which was really controversial when it was yeah I try and it can go on and on and on but it's gonna be weird especially with Black Ops 4 no campaign that's it's just it's like removing a great feature out of like a big game you can't do that like that's kinda weird to do especially if it's a big game like like uh, Black, the Call of Duty franchise which has been known for, for its single player campaign and also its multiplayer so if they're gonna be like Titanfall and Fortnite it's not necessary it's really not necessary it's not necessary to do that it look not everything has to be like Fortnite it doesn't seriously it doesn't need to be like Fortnite like no offense to Fortnite people who love Fortnite like look I don't f have any interest in playing Fortnite whatsoever it looks fun but it's just not my cup of tea not saying it's shit, but yeah, it looks fun. But I don't think I would like to play it. I don't think I would get to play it. But seriously, like the fact that that there's like a apparently they're gonna do like a fort, like a battle royale system. How stupid does that sound? And putting the words freaking battle royale system and call of duty in the same sentence sounds so weird you should call it call of duty fortnite that's a better name that's a better name to call it seriously there's no need to be there's no need for that like seriously you don't need to be like the today's games you don't have to be like like the popular games Look at what happened with when Call of... I think this really bastardized the Call of Duty franchise a little bit, especially with Infinite Warfare, when it came out. Because of games like Titanfall, that caused... Yeah, especially with Titanfall, I think that kind of had a little bit of a factor in the futuristic stuff with Call of Duty. And we got freaking Advanced Warfare, Infinite Warfare... Black Ops 3 is probably the only one that I like. Advanced Warfare kind of was like, uh, okay, but Infinite Warfare I never got, never picked up or played. I never played it. I never played Infinite Warfare. And I bought Infinite Warfare because just like, like everybody in the goddamn world bought Infinite Warfare just to do one thing, play Modern Warfare Remastered. And Again, Dusk is by my arch nemesis to, for this game right now. Dusk over here is my arch nemesis. He's killing me. He's owning me in every match. Oh, heads up. Fuck! Could have had a good kill. Well, that was usually how I like to do shit. Just make it funny with just melee kill. This guy, dude. 
Does he have his mod on? <laughs> Pretty sure people have been asked, like, wondering why have you not gone to Prestige? What's the point? To be honest. That's what, honestly, I don't see there any point in become, make it, becoming Prestige. I don't see any point to it, you know? As if I'm the only lobby on in this world. Seriously, I don't know what, why the fuck. I won in spirit. I won that game. I won. I won gun game last last video. It took away my technical win, but I won in spirit. It's bullshit. I won. No matter how many times you'll say, oh, you did not win, you lost. Trust me, I did win. That was my game. The game said no. It's not. Well, now we must wait for Matarazzas to show up. But the thing is, like, I'm pretty sure you're probably going to be wondering, am I going to still pick up Black Ops 4 regardless of that? At this point in time, I don't know. Some people actually kind of hate World War II, even when it came out. I'm like, eh, World War II is not bad. It's it's okay. It's a good game. Like, it probably could have done a lot better, but apparently they wanted to be as, like, real, like, I guess, spot on. Well, that's fine. Like, whatever. But they wanted to be at least spot on with the times and everything. Like, whatever. That's fine. Whatever. But still, that doesn't mean it's a bad game. I just wish... Here's this feature. Here's a feature that I always like in old Call of Duty games, especially in the Black Ops 2. Theater mode. Theater mode is a mode that I seriously think that should be in every Call of Duty game. Period. I don't give a shit. It has to be in every game because it really makes it cool with highlights. Look at Vanoss Gaming and how how popular he became with his channel because of the theater mode of Black Ops 2 and his editing. His way of editing and the camera and the angles and he makes using theater mode in Black Ops 2, like the fact he was able to do that with theater mode catapulted him to the top. One of the reasons. I'm not saying that was the only thing. His I think it was his style of editing that really made him popular out of the whole crew. His style of editing was just way beyond everybody else's. Oh, you little shit, huh? <laughs> he just runs to fall flat on his face. I thought he was still alive, and I ran out, and I'm, I was just going to go knife him, like a dick that I am. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. I had no choice. I had no choice. Oh my god. <laughs> You're lucky. I didn't know what to do. Seriously, I was just like panicking. It's panic. Like you go into panic mode when you run out of ammo and you have no choice but the knife. You know? And you don't have the time to reload. Because they're right there in the action, you know? You don't want to... Oh shit! Oh, look at you, just chilling. Huh. 
Oh, of course, I just get fucked. <laughs> ah, typical. Oh, come on. Huh! Did I just see enemies forfeit? What the fuck? Why was I disconnected? Like, seriously. That made no sense. I didn't do anything wrong. How much do you want to bet that this footage ain't gonna go through? The lag compensation is real. Seriously, is there any fucking it more? Uh, is there any more people that could fucking play gun game? Like, holy shit! Come on! Thank you! <laughs> ah, this map. Four wheels rolling, motherfucker. Let's go. That guy's knifing. Look at that shithead. <laughs> that guy was knifing. <clears throat> okay, I don't know how I still killed you. That didn't look like a kill to me. Well, that did. You are a shit. You're a fucking idiot. You're a fucking prick. You know that? You're a fucking piece of shit, runaway. You're a runaway fucking punk. You're a runaway punk. You know that? Oh, that makes sense. Okay, I got him. Oh, typical lag. Right there. Stop! Are you done fucking lagging today? Oh shit. Two bodies went down. Oh, that makes sense. I was in the fucking doorway. A lot closer to the doorway. Just to get shot. There's nobody around. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god, I feel like I'm just shooting at nothing. Oh, oh, okay. That makes sense. I kill he's only got killed with a car. Oh, you are fucking kidding me. You you're kidding me, right? Fucking shot him. No, nothing. Of course, nothing. What a fucking cunt.
What a piece of shit. This was the map, I remember, it wasn't Gun Game, but it was Team Deathmatch. It was on this map where I got the 28 achievements. I'm not, I'm not even joking with that. You think I'm crazy. Like, I thought I actually earned these achievements, but I realized it was just a hack. Oh, okay, you... You're a fucking... Oh, it's pretty obvious in your fucking name, Humilia. <laughs> it makes so much sense. It makes so much sense in your name. Your gamer tag is... That. You fucking cunt. You're a fucking piece of shit! Do not start with me! I will fucking hunt you down. Yeah, how about that, fucker? That's what you get. Because I'll start knifing. And you won't like it when I start knifing people because it... It will be a pain in the ass for you. I'm behind a wall and he still kills me? Yeah, that makes sense. That really makes a lot of fucking sense today. Huh? Headshot. Oh, I had, no, I had uh, not a lot of health left. Okay, I'm just walking around in fucking fucking circles. Seems like I'm just walking in fucking circles today. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I'm shooting 20 bullets into you and you're still alive. How is that possible? It's like shooting your own red shell. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Can I get past this fucking shotgun, please? Without fucking having an aneurysm. You are a fucking lucky piece of shit! You know that? Nothing but a piece of shit. Come on, just shoot the fucking idiot! Come on! How hard is it to kill somebody? How many bullets do you take? Holy shit! He must be a god today! Oh my god, I swear to god, I'm shooting them with every bullet I have! <laughs> this game is amazing! This game is AMAZING! I swear, I can't get... And where am I now? In the same lobby as before. No, you fuck off! Fuck off, you fucking cheating pieces of shit! I don't need to deal with your fucking horse shit humiliation! Game, what am I... What did I ever do to you? What did I ever do to you, game? 
I didn't do nothing. I praised the hell out of you. That doesn't mean that you have to treat me like shit. Come on. Watch, I'll be in the sick. Oh my god. I swear to god. If I get put in the same lobby one more time, I'm not playing this game anymore. I swear to god. This game is just fucking me, period. Fucking with me, period. I... I want to fucking, fucking strangle someone. I want to fucking put a bullet in my head. This game is so fun. <laughs> Mommy's finally lost it. I lost it a long time ago. Anyways, I'm just going to end this video here. Because I'm just going to be putting the same lobby over and over and over again. And how much do you want to bet that this footage ain't going to go through? Because the game, this fucking thing, it loves me so much. Uh... So I hope you guys enjoyed my pain and misery once again. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, share this video with your friends, make sure to ring that bell to be part of the notification squad. Be sure to also check out my Instagram because I make cool ads of Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, even myself. I also do reenactments and cosplays, so go check it out. So I uh, so until next time, JRDL96 signing out. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.